just finished watching Tom Felton's Holiday Home Party on Veeps, and I have to tell you, it was absolutely amazing. Really, from the music, the shenanigans, Jason Isaacs, all the questions that was asked, and being sorted again with his family, it was really just an amazing home party. Coming from the home party that he had on November 14th, in celebration of the 19th anniversary of the release of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I was expecting that this would be absolutely amazing. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. And today I'm going to be discussing with you why it was an absolutely amazing experience and that I really cannot wait for more of his home parties. Okay, first things first, I've got to gush about the music. Tom Felton's music is just absolutely amazing. Really, from the happy lyrics and tunes that he has on his acoustic guitar and his ukulele, you've just got to admit that his music is absolutely amazing. Really, accompanied with his amazing voice, his music never fails to bring a smile on my face. And in the home party, he definitely spoiled us with a lot of music. Personally, my favorite songs that he had in this home party was Hawaii and If I Could Be Anywhere. All of his other songs were brilliant, of course, but I just really have a soft spot for these songs. Okay, next we have to talk about his shenanigans with Willow and his group of scalawags. Compared to the home party on November 14th, Willow had so much more screen time for the holiday home party. And really, it was one of the highlights of it. Willow is just amazing, really. And as for Tom Felton's shenanigans, need I say more? Tom Felton is just overall amazing and I cannot express in words just how much I love that man. Really, he's just so kind and funny and optimistic and just overall an amazing person and I just really love him. And the shenanigans he had, it was gold. Absolute gold. And as for him and his scalawags, well, let's just say that it was also pure gold. Really, the dynamic that they had was absolutely amazing and all of his scalawags were also incredibly funny and really nice as well. Overall, the shenanigans was absolutely hilarious and brilliant. Like, I could have expected anything else from Tom Felton. <laughs> Next, of course, we have the lovely Jason Isaacs. Now, if you're like me, you always stalk his Instagram, then you'll know that he posted a video with a sneak peek of his game Heads Up with Jason Isaacs. And in the home party, there was just this amazing piece with him and Jason Isaacs. Really, their duo was just absolutely amazing. Okay, enough of my gushing. I'm gonna go into exactly what happened. Okay, right off the bat, when Jason Isaacs joined the call, he immediately noticed Tom Felton's hair. And I've got to say, it was messy and sort of bedhead-ish, but it was adorable. Really, is there anything about this man that is not absolutely lovable and adorable? And they proceeded to have this really cute greeting. Actually, before Tom Felton showed us the video of this, he actually mentioned how he and Jason Isaacs are really close and how he calls him father and Jason Isaacs calls him son. If that's not if that's not cute, I don't know what it is. <laughs> then we're gonna proceed with Jason Isaacs stories. Okay, one story that I'm pretty sure you were all waiting for is the fact that Jason Isaacs had a lot to do with Lucius Malfoy's costume. Okay, so the original idea was to have Jason Isaacs wearing this normal muggle suit, along with having short cropped up hair, just like a normal muggle, and having dark hair. Now I know what you all are thinking, that's not Lucius Malfoy. That cannot be him. And that's exactly what Jason Isaacs thought. And he really went ahead and said that Lucius Malfoy is one of those aristocratic wizards. He's supposed to have this sort of cape and he's going to have this cane and he's going to have this blonde hair to match his son. And really, he just perfected Lucius Malfoy's outfit. Apparently, one of the things was that he was suggesting that there was going to be coats and furs and velvet and all that stuff for Lucius Malfoy's coat. And apparently, someone asked, well, what are you gonna do about that? And the thing that happened was that he just went ahead, picked up a curtain, and he was going on and on about how he should have furs and all of that stuff and all of that velvet. And then he eventually actually picked up a carpet and just draped it over his shoulders. And that was just when I burst out laughing. Just imagine Lucius Malfoy traipsing around while holding a carpet over him as a cloak. Just think of that image for a moment. Overall, it was absolutely hilarious, especially when Chris Columbus saw what he was doing with the carpet, and then he just went over and just squinted his eyes and said, is that a carpet? Really, if I'd have been there, I would have asked myself, am I seeing things, or is Jason Isaacs really just traipsing around with a carpet draped over him? Yeah, that mental image is not going to leave my head now. And here's another part that's absolutely hilarious. You know how they were very strict about all the Harry Potter props? Well, Jason Isaacs was really a fan of that. 
Apparently, when there were so many copies of the Daily Prophet, he tried to nick it. And then the thing that happened was that as he was driving out of set, one of the security just said, um, excuse me, uh, could you please return your Daily Prophet? And he was just like, what? Yeah, you, yeah, the copy of the Daily Prophet you have. And, and the thing that Jason Isaacs had apparently done was that he just sort of smiled sheepishly and then just handed it over and just like said, yeah, here, sorry. <laughs> really, I just find that absolutely hilarious. And one of the things that I absolutely loved about Jason Isaacs and Tom Felton was that Jason Isaacs was proposing for him and Tom to have a podcast. Yes, please. He was asking if people would enjoy hearing them just ramble on and on. And my immediate response is, please, please, please do it. Really, I would absolutely love it if they had a podcast and I would just, I'm combusting from joy right here. Okay, yeah, there were definitely more stories, but I think it's time to move on to the heads up game. So the thing that they actually did here was that they did all the categories and by the end of it, Jason Isaacs won. Now, while the entirety of this was absolutely hilarious, the highlight for me was when Jason Isaacs didn't actually do the impressions or the accents. And when he had said so after his turn, it was already Tom's turn. Which is why, while well, Jason Isaacs didn't have to do it for his turn, Tom had to do all sorts of accents and impressions. That was gold. I was laughing my head off the entire time. <laughs> Now, as much as I would love to dwell over Jason Isaacs, I just have to go on to the next phase. Tom Felton and his family getting sorted. Now, I'm pretty sure you all know that the last time Tom was sorted, he tried to trick the sorting hat into putting him into Slytherin. And then he became a Gryffindor. Yeah, it's just infamous now. And when he played the video, all of my thoughts were focused on one thing. Will he redeem himself? Okay, so now the people who have managed to take the test are his mom, his dad, and his two brothers, Ashley and Chris. And finally, after shenanigans and asking all of the questions, we got the houses of his family members. And now, the shocking truth. His mom, his dad, and his brother Ashley are Hufflepuffs. What? Now, this is nothing against Hufflepuffs, because Hufflepuff is a great house, as is all the others. But I really just wanted them to be in Slytherin. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, his other brother, Chris, managed to get into Ravenclaw. Actually, earlier in the video, when he was asking his family members what houses they knew, he actually responded with something crawl. Ravencraw. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> that was just so good. And finally, we have Tom Felton himself, the moment we've all been waiting for. He finally redeemed himself. I was just screaming and bouncing up and down, and he was also just ecstatic about it. He even got his Malfoy figurine and just said that Draco would be so happy for him. And really, I wouldn't beg to differ. Really, Draco would be ecstatic that Tom Felton actually got to Slytherin this time. And really, this just redeemed him. Tom Felton is no longer a Gryffindor. Say hello to Slytherin. Okay, so now, last but not the least, I've got the questions. Okay, so the question that really struck me was when someone had asked him how his Christmas was and what the traditions were. Apparently, Tom had thankfully managed to catch a flight to be able to meet his mom for Christmas, and it was really actually great. Apparently, here's the one thing about the Felton family that you didn't know. Apparently, whenever it's Christmas in the Felton household, they don't open presents immediately on the morning of the 25th. First, they just have lunch and walk around a bit, and then when they get home, hopefully start a fire, and then that's when they open the presents. Now, it's odd, but not that odd, considering we open presents on the midnight of November 24th. Wait, would that make it actually the midnight of November 25th or the midnight of November 24th? Basically, the first minute of 25th. And it was really just nice to hear about his family's traditions and that he's really doing well and that he's enjoying his Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, happy holidays to everyone over there. I really hope that despite the circumstances, you were still able to enjoy Christmas. I know that this Christmas was different considering some of you didn't have presents or weren't able to visit your families, but I really just wish that you managed to enjoy your holidays because it is that time of the year where everyone should just be spreading smiles everywhere. And as for you people who don't celebrate Christmas, I just really hope you guys have a really fun and enjoyable season and advanced Happy New Year. Okay, so back to the point. Okay, so the next thing that a fan had asked him was about the movie he was filming. In this film, Tom plays the role of the husband of the first ever female archaeologist, and I cannot wait for this movie. I mean, I can't wait for all of this film, so I'm not really sure what that says about me. Anyways, that was about it. 
Tom Felton's holiday home party was absolutely amazing and it definitely blew me away. All the expectations that I had thanks to the home party that Tom Felton hosted on the 14th of November were absolutely met with flying colors. Really, they exceed my expectations on an outstanding level and I could not have hoped for a better home party. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy your holidays, and bye!